Hey, what's the video? This is Marjun Ekbutan and in this video I am going to show you 6 common best rooted Android applications which you can use in any rooted Android device. These are related to battery tweaks, performance, installing flash, flashable zip files, installing TWRP, overclocking and underclocking your device and many more. So without wasting time, let's get started. Everybody sing that shit. The first application in our list we have this system app remover. This application helps you to remove the bloatwares which we are getting almost while purchasing our device or while installing any new custom ROM. So here we have some applications which are pre-installed uh, in Samsung devices. We have applications like Samsung account and theme store which we not widely use. So what you can do is just click here and just click the applications which you don't want and after that just click on uninstall and just click on yes and it will in few seconds it will remove all the applications which you have selected and make sure that you must create a backup of these otherwise you will not able to get these applications back or maybe you will face four stop of problems so after going to recycle bin if you want to restore it you can restore it lately or if you don't want just delete it and it will delete it forever and after that just restart your device and you will not find the Samsung account in the theme application in your device. So this is the best application with which you can easily remove system app remover like bloatwares in any Android device. And this application is Greenify. This is one of the best application if you really want to save battery in your Android device. Uh, the best feature is it does not require any root access but you can use it in rooted device if you have exposed installer. So here let me show you that it has some working modes like root or non root if you have a non rooted device you can use it also so what it actually does it, it hibernates all the applications which are running in the background so just click here after giving all the permissions here you can see it is showing all the applications which I have installed in my device even the system applications too by just clicking here you can click on show all and it will also show you all the system and the user applications and after that what you have to do is just click on any application which you don't want to run in the background but make sure that you take only all the applications which you don't use regularly like if you try to hibernate applications like Facebook, WhatsApp, Messenger, YouTube you will not get application notifications so only hibernate applications which you don't reuse regularly like my XGA YouTube so just click on this tick button and after that you have to click on this and it will automatically start hibernating all the applications which are running in the background and if you are using the expose installer it will work perfectly fine I am not using expose so make sure you have expose installed after that you can easily able to get a good battery backup experience in any android device if, if it is not rooted or non rooted it doesn't matter as the next application in our list we have this official TWRP application so with this app you can easily flash TWRP recovery if you are currently using any and you can update it or you can downgrade it easily by just going into this TWRP flash and after that just click on the device which you are using it has all the devices available even the latest Samsung Galaxy S8 you can see I am currently using J7 2015 so I have to click here I can also click here because I am having the Exynos version so I am just clicking here and here we have all the versions available I am currently using 3.1 so just click on it like uh, for flashing the zip file by this you have to click on the img not that dot par so just click here and it will press ok and it will automatically redirect you to the browser to the download site and after that just click here and it will ask you to start download and after that just go into the application again and click on here select a file to flash search for the file where you have stored it so here we have this file just click here and select it and after that you can easily flash it and here you can easily reboot your recovery or your system and you can back up your existing recovery too so here we have all the features available which if you are currently using a TWRP recovery next application in our list we have this titanium backup this is one of the most popular app to backup and restore your application data so I have made a separate video which you will able to find here and uh, here you can create and backup and you can schedule it easily and here we have some batch actions available so after watching that video you will be easily able to 
make sure that how you can back up and restore the application data while going to a new custom room or any new device and just flashing a zip file by your custom recovery and after that you will be easily able to restore your all application data plus apk everything by this app we have which is one of the common and the most popular app is this the l speed mode this application helps you to tweak your device completely like you can set profiles according to your battery balance performance if you want in IO tweaks in Android optimizer tool and here we have lots of tweaks available which you can do like main tweaks we have this boost now so, so by just clicking here your device will get the boost and you can boost regular you can set it for minutes like 30 minutes hours etc kernel tweaks are also available i have set it to battery and i'm really getting a good battery backup in this device almost around two to three stand on time and four to five screen on time which is good for a mid-range device like this and faster boot flag tuner and allow high resolution youtube videos too my device only supports 720p in youtube but with which i can easily able to play 1080p videos but uh, when i try to use it in 2k or 4k it's lagging because my device only supports 1080p so it also helps to improve scrolling we also have cpu tuners if you want you can set battery tweaks here we have battery tweaks also available and lots of lots of tweaks available in this so you can customize it according to your needs kernel auditor with this you can easily overclock and underclock your device your battery your cpu and entropy and the speed of copying various tweaks you can do it so it depends on the kernel obviously so i'm using afterburner kernel in samsung galaxy j7 and it has these tweaks only like cpu tweaks some battery tweaks here you can see that the battery tweaks are not available and i use scheduler you can set here we have various lots of options low memory color is also available and the virtual memory and trophy and in miscellaneous you will get like power suspended mode tcp congestion algorithm so this is the best application with which you can also overclock or underclock your device by selecting the governor and the maker the gigahertz you can set it according to your own so guys that's all with this video i hope you really enjoyed this and if you did a like will be appreciated and for more videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button down below as always i see the next video thank you